Hi there, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before, I'm Beatrix. Today I have a lovely short yin yoga practice for your neck and shoulders. All you need for this class is one block and when you're ready, come on the mat and practice with me. We'll start this class from seated. So I'll sit up on my block making sure both sitting bones are nice and grounded. You don't have to sit cross-legged, you can sit on a bolster if that feels better for you. Just anywhere that feels comfortable for you to sit for a few minutes. And just start with the hands down on your knees or in your lap. And let your shoulders relax down. And you can close off the eyes just for a minute or so to begin with. Notice how you're feeling, arriving to the mat, to the body and especially beginning to notice that neck, those shoulders. Guiding the breath, softly in and out the nostrils. And beginning to notice if perhaps one side of the neck and shoulders feels a little bit tighter than the other, a little bit more need for practice and just observe there's nothing you have to do. Observe the breath and its connection with your shoulders and neck. So perhaps you feel the shoulders moving up as you breathe in. If you do, see if you can let the shoulders rest. Invite the breath deeper down in the belly. And as you're ready, let's come to the first post posture. Dropping our ear, right ear down to the right shoulder. And adjusting it for what you need today. So perhaps you want to look down, perhaps you want to look forward, or maybe slightly up. Finding that tension through that left side of your neck. And if it's not enough, the left arm can reach out to the side as well. And perhaps the right arm reaches up to the side of your neck, of your head, but try not to press down. Allow just the heaviness of your hand to apply gentle pressure and to bring a bit more space between your ear and your shoulder. Taking a couple more breaths here. And then gently beginning to release that right arm if you have it up. Take the chin slightly down or gently down towards the chest. Take the hands back onto your knees and lift the head back to center. Just notice how it feels to have done one side. If it feels good for you, just move the neck and the head from side to side, just bring some movement, gentle movement back into the neck. 
before we move to the other side. And come back to center and let your left ear now come down to the left shoulder. Notice how this side feels. Maybe look slightly up, slightly down, whichever way feels good to find that slight tension through the side of your neck. And if it doesn't feel like it's enough for you, you can have the right arm out. Maybe the left hand comes to the side of your head. And as always with the yin yoga, trying to find that point of sensation in between discomfort and no challenge at all. So that's, that's a point of sensation that doesn't hurt, but also is a little bit challenging. Two more breaths on this side as well. And then gently release, taking the head down to, um, chin down to the chest. Coming to center and lifting the head up. And if it felt good before, perhaps repeat that swinging of the head from side to side. Looking over one shoulder and over the other. Noticing how our neck feels now on both sides. Come back through center. And now from here, if you'd like to adjust your seat, seating position, you're welcome to perhaps change the cross of the legs if you're sitting um, cross-legged. And then bring your right arm forward and the left arm on top. Bend your elbows and lift the arms up. This can be enough for some of us. So the back of the palms are touching or almost together. They don't have to come all the way together. Feeling that sensation at the back of your shoulders. If this is not enough, wrap all the way around and find your palms, but try not to pull any finger down and take your arms up and away. Staying here for a minute or so. Keeping the breath soft gentle, not forcing any air in or out. If at any point that back feels uncomfortable or feels tired, you're always welcome to lean against the wall. Begin to slowly unroll the arms. As you, as you can see, we're not staying here for a long time because it can be quite intense. And then open up the chest for counter pose. Now, if it feels good, you can interlace the hands into your, um, on your lower back, at your lower back. And then open up the chest and let your shoulders drop back. Shoulder blades come together. So come into the opposite way and you can 
take a bit of twisting from side to side. before we move to the other side. So when you're ready, release. And we're going the opposite way this time. So the left arm um, reaches forward, right arm is on top, bending the elbows and either staying here or wrapping around. Trying to find that space of challenge, but never pain. And then lift up and away and find sensations at the back of the shoulders. As we do this, trying to maintain softness through the neck. And just taking three more breaths here. And gently releasing out, so opening the chest, dropping the shoulders back and down and perhaps interlacing the fingers to our lower back and away. Opening up the chest the opposite way and the shoulders the opposite way. And then releasing down, releasing the hands, removing that block, you can place it to one side for um, melting heart posture. So option is to bring it under your forehead. From here, take yourself up to your hands and knees. Make sure you have space in front of you. And then keep your hips tracking over your knees. Only thing you have to do. Then walk the hands forward and let the forehead come down to the ground or onto that block. If for any reason this is a bit too much for your shoulders, you can always bend the elbows and soften. Or perhaps just one elbow and reach the hand to the opposite arm. As this as well can be quite intense. So don't be discouraged if any of these postures feel really intense. They do for me as well and they live for a lot of people.
once you're ready to release begin to walk the hands back and just shift your hips back towards your heels you can grab that block and place it under your sitting bones drop back to child's pose and bring your hands either side of your legs so we come into a narrow legged child's pose with your knees quite close together and let your back round and your shoulders drop and come to notice how your neck and shoulders feel now after the short but hopefully effective practice And you can stay here in child's pose for as long as you need to. But if you're ready for Shavasana, you're welcome to bring yourself up to your hands and knees and gently onto your back. There is no Shavasana included in this video. However, I'm going to link one for you. And you can click onto and also practice a lovely guided Shavasana. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and share with your friends and family. Thank you very much.